Ships, we have reached the zone of space where the Orc pirates are known to lurk. Stay alert for any enemy ships. Acknowledged. My convoy ships are packed to the brim with supplies. If we lose more than half these ships, our mission will fail and Bladen is doomed. If we split up the transport ships, we have a better chance of getting through the Orc pirate patrols. Hey everybody, welcome to Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Basically, this game is on Steam right now for 10% off, and if you get it now, you can play it now, but it doesn't come out until April 21st. Uh, so what is it? It's basically a real-time strategy game set in the Warhammer 40k universe. Now, I don't know anything about that universe, never played any 40k games, but this game just kind of piqued my interest because I was able to play it straight away, and I've been quite bored over the weekend, and it looks good. As you can see when I'm looking around these cool ships, they just look really cool. I've never seen these before, they just looked really cool. Um, it's very much like, you know naval combat, you got broadsider cannons and stuff like that, but you have some ships that fire from the front and lasers and then you go a bit more crazy with the science fiction. Um, Admiral. So I'm just doing a mission right now, let's just have a listen to what they're saying. The These must be the orc pirates. The greenskins don't understand strategy. <laughs> the orc ships are likely to close in at short range and rely on their tough front armor. The orcs are also eager to fight. These savages will try to board our ships, and they won't hesitate to ram anything in their way. Right. All ships, prepare for battle. So basically, there's a kind of a campaign mode uh, that you can do, and they say in the description of the Steam product that you know it comes with a full, fully fledged campaign mode Maybe with missions and things like it. that. In this one, the Greenskins have kind of almost ambushed me, I think, as I'm trans, I'm guiding some transport ships across the galaxy, and uh, they have to get to a certain planet to help them out. The, the story isn't that fleshed out in the beta, but I'm sure it's it's there seems to be like really nice cutscenes and stuff. But basically, they just added the greenskins to the beta, um, or this early adopters edition. So if you get the early adopters edition, which you can play like right now, you can play multiplayer, single player, and a little bit of uh, campaign missions. You get the uh, Imperial Navy, the Chaos, Orc Pirates, and the Eldar Corsairs. And then I think you also get the Space Marines by pre-ordering, or well, getting the early adopters edition. It's an interesting way of doing it. Um, it's basically running a multiplayer beta for a month uh, before the before you can play. Uh, before you can play the full thing. So here I'm just like turning my ship, firing my torpedoes. If you activate the tactical cogitator, um, that basically slows down time and allows you to make more micro intense maneuvers. Um, I'm not very good at the game. I'm I was still learning. This is one of my first battles, and they just added the greenskins to the beta. They're actually updating the beta as it goes along. So we've got another full month before the game is out. So maybe they'll add the other factions as well before it's at, which would be cool to see. Um, so I'm a big fan of real-time strategy games, obviously. Uh, being a Total War fan, Company of Heroes, I got, you know, Homeworld Deserts of Karak, uh, even though I never did a video on that. Um, so I, I like these games quite a lot. Uh, this one seems to be quite deep, uh, quite tactically complex. I don't know if it's like balanced or anything like that, I haven't played multiplayer. Basically, I was just trying to ram ships because I thought it looked fucking awesome when I did it. The game is running in Unreal 4 and I have everything turned up to the max graphics right now, which looks really cool. Um, so the green skin AI is supposed to be a little bit more aggressive, right? They, they have more strong ramming maneuvers. They actually have torpedoes that they've just fired at me, hit one of my ships. Um, so you can see they're just chasing down. They went straight for my transport. It's kind of ignoring all my ships and that's their objective. You know, Their objective is to take out my ships and my objective was to protect mine. And I didn't do a very good job at it. Um, so you can just see me like pulling my uh, my transports back, trying to stay out of the way. They go for these like big ramming maneuvers where you hear that massive horn, and it's like shit, get out of the way. It's pretty cool. Their ships look really really nice as well. Uh, completely ridiculous, but you know that's just part of the lore, I guess. So basically, in this battle here, you can see down the bottom left, there's all these different stats like 3k, 6k, 9k, 12k. You can you can kind of auto manage your your ships somewhat to say like stay 6,000 meters away 3,000 meters away keep your distance fire from the front fire from the sides all these different like little micro intense things so it's a really tactically deep you know RTS from what I can see there's a lot to deal with in the beginning um, I don't know my ships very well which is probably why I'm not very good I'm trying to like figure out um, there's like sword frigates and firestorm frigates and stuff like that and then you also have these long long ships with big broadside cannons and I'm trying to figure out which ones are the are, are any of them good at ramming and things like that it seems 
from watching back this video myself, it seems like ramming is just never a good idea to do. Um, even for the sword frigates, which I assumed were ramming ships. Um, but anyway, I've been having a lot of fun with it. There's some really nice cutscenes and story elements to it. Um, you know, you have to like board enemy ships or board space stations, and you see like little troops like land in there, like fight in there, and then come back out. It's really really cool. Um, so yeah, I think it's 10% off on Steam right now. Um, it's a little bit, little bit expensive. I got it discounted uh, somewhere else, but um, I am enjoying it. Um, and to be honest, actually, it's not that expensive when you consider if it is like a full game when it comes out. That's actually pretty good. But based on the beta, obviously, it's not like totally worth the money right now. But if you're into this kind of thing, and it certainly got me excited to play as like the four, the like the rest of the factions when it comes out and play the story. I'd say for some people, multiplayer is going to be like the 100% focus for them. I haven't tried any yet, but I might give it a go. You can play with up to four people. And it kind of does this like persistent fleet thing. So you actually build a fleet and then rank it up and play online with that fleet. And I think if you lose a ship, you lose a ship like and you don't get to have that again. Um, so really interesting. Uh, I hope they don't go the whole route of microtransactions, at least not too heavily. Because there is a kind of renown system where it's like, okay, you've earned like 100 renown from this battle, and if you want to repair your ship, pay the renown. It's very much like, you know, kind of World of Warships kind of style thing. But it is a full price, or like a, you know, a, a retail price game. So it's, it's kind of like, oh, I don't know, if you're going to do that to the multiplayer, that would kind of annoy me. So that's why we'll have to wait and see on that front. Um, weirdly, it even does it in custom battle, even if you just want to play against the AI. Um, you still have to pay to repair your ships and stuff like that. It's a bit, bit, bit odd. Um, this guy here is just about to warp out, of he, so he's he's about to die, but he just got away. He actually just got away, like, ten, ten more seconds maybe, and I would have got him. And we're down to one ship. Uh, I still kept all my transports alive until this point, but I make a really bad error. Uh, tactical maneuver, maneuverable error, I would say. Um, I basically rammed two of my own ships, like, absolutely crushing them. Yeah, j Jesus Christ, I nearly put both of them out of action there. Didn't realize that that would kind of happen. Um, but I guess that's my own fault. I don't know what I thought would happen. Um, so actually, based on that, actually, it seems like ramming ships do really good against smaller ships, which makes a lot of sense. But whenever I try to ram the big ones, just nothing really happens. We both take the same damage. Um, so they're after taking down one of my ships. The goal of this mission was to not lose more than one. So I've lost one, and the others I'm trying to like pull out, and I'm trying to get everyone else to fire. I've actually told him to fire from the front. And you can see he's just activated his like ramming maneuver, and I'm activating my engines to be 100% thrust to get away from him, and I just ima just managed to clinch it and get away. So um, I don't know how many units you can totally have in a battle, but it seems like you can have pretty big ones from the size of fleets that I've been attacked by in the campaign. Maybe like 20 units or so. That would get absolutely insane um, if you're having those massive battles like that, so so yeah. Uh, but I just thought I'd make a video on this game just because basically I've been playing it this weekend, played it for a couple of hours, haven't touched multiplayer yet, might give it a go, and I thought people might be interested in this, especially with the upcoming like you know Total War Warhammer. Um, we're seeing Games Workshop games pop up all over the place now. So this one comes out in a month. Uh, here you can see actually like I'm leveling up the different commanders of the different ships. And then ships can be upgraded as well. So you have skills for the commanders or upgrades for the ships. Um, Disruption Bomb is one I put on this ship, so that's pretty cool. Uh, although I never really I got to use it properly. Um, I'm not too, too sure what it does. Um, but you can see there's quite deep, deep upgrade trees and skill trees in this. And for the commanders as well as for the ships. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. Here's some, some of the renowned stuff that you can see. It's like... You earn a mountain of renown, and then you can spend that on your fleet every time. I'm not 100% sure how it all works, so you'll have to kind of explore that for yourself, or I'll let you know later if you want me to do another video on this game. Um, so I went to kind of a custom battle, and the mission, mission is just Cruiser Clash, and that kind of default just chose an army for me to go against, or a fleet for me to go against, that was basically the same as my own. Um, I was a little disappointed I couldn't just like say, hey, I want to just play some, against some green skins and see what's happening. Uh, like learn the game a bit, um, but I couldn't do that. But here I've chosen uh, mainly just sword frigates and then my own dauntless ship. So three sword frigates, and the reason I chose them is I wanted to test out ramming, and you'll see me making a, a big attempt of it here. Other things yes, worth mentioning is there's like minefields in space, and uh, uh, what else? Oh, and gas clouds that you can like hide in, and have a bit of stealth on the map. Um, the maps are pretty big as well. It's only one dimension though, like or a 2D plane, I should say, that you can travel along. I always find it very odd that these games like have these vast, like games that are set in space, should be 
really taking advantage of the full 3D aspect of space, but none of them ever do. I guess it's kind of quite complicated from a design perspective, but it would have been nice to go like kind of maneuver ships up and down and things like that. Like some of the games are kind of attempting it. Um, that's one of the minefields there, just very close to my ship. If you crash into it, you do it does considerable damage, but it wouldn't take out a whole Your ship. Orders. I don't think. Um, so I just fired a, like, my torpedoes like well ahead of him. Oh, it just clinched past where he was. Your orders. Um, and we'll find out what type of ships these are now. We can see three of them approaching me at the moment. Um, ship ready. There's also a kind of a bit of RNG in it. Like Understood. you can fire like a lightning strike, and it's like oh, a 30% chance Enemy bombardment or uh, boarding, like 50% chance that it might might be successful or fail. Here I was trying to run. Very clever uh, for the AI to completely stop their engines because. I was on course to hit them and then they just completely like stopped and I overshot and my ship got destroyed anyway. So I was like, okay, these ships probably aren't the best for doing that. And then I activated like the tactical cogitator to slow down and try to like maneuver properly into this. And this is pretty cool. I think the effects are so cool when you zoom in on this. I love it. You just see all the like sparks flying and like you can just hear all that metal creaking and stuff. It's so cool. That being said, once the initial impact is done, his health never went down any further, and I took the same damage doing it to him, so I don't know if it was worth it. Um, I imagine my sword frigates are probably better placed against their kind of smaller ships to do that. Um, but yeah, I am learning the game. I think I'm getting a little bit better now that I've played it and watched kind of my videos back and seen how I've done. That's why I wanted to explore kind of a practice slash custom battle. It was a bit unfair that I couldn't choose the ships to go against. So that's basically it for Battlefleet Gothic Armada. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want me to do more on this, I could do some multiplayer and show off a bit more um, gameplay. And maybe if they add another faction to the beta, I can cover that one. It would be great to be able to play as the Greenskins or play as um, Chaos. Uh, but not just yet. You can just watch me get completely wiped out in this custom battle now. Um, and that's basically it. Let me know if you think you're going to pick this game up. I heard a few people ask me to, to kind of look at it. Um, and that other game, Stellaris. I might have a look at that as well. Uh, I'm kind of broke at the moment though, so I kind of have to save up money to buy these games. That's why I got it on a discount. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, and I'll see you in the next one.